Hi, Dave Kanicki here with the February 21st, 2012 edition of the Farm Equipment Editor's Blog. One of the nice things about standing in the long food concession lines at the National Farm Machinery Show last week is I got to meet some pretty interesting people. In my case, I visited with some farmers attending the show. One thing about farmers is they love to visit. So as I was standing in line to get a giant pork tenderloin sandwich, I asked one farmer what he thought of the show. He said it was the first time he had ever attended this particular show. As it turned out, he was from South Carolina. I asked him why he decided to come up this year, and without hesitation, he replied, I got some money to spend and I want to see what's new. Another farmer from Georgia pretty much echoed these same sentiments. He and five other farmers had driven up together to go to the Louisville show. He said he hadn't been to the uh, National Farm Machinery show in many years and didn't realize how big it had grown. Like the farmer from South Carolina, he and his friends were there to see what was new and maybe spend some money. From my experience, when farmers are happy, everyone else around them, including dealers and manufacturers, are happy. I'm glad everybody's happy these days. Earlier in the year, at the National No-Tillage Conference in St. Louis, No-Till Farmer, a sister publication of farm equipment, polled the 800-plus attendees about their spending plans for 2012. The results are as follows. For seed and chemicals in 2012 versus 2011, they're looking to spend about 21% more than they did last year. With chemicals, it's up about 15% compared to 2011. Fertilizer is up about 16% versus uh, 2011. When it comes to equipment, farmers intend to spend somewhat less than they did last year. For whole goods, they say they're going to spend about 12% less than they did last year. When it comes to service for the machinery, they estimate that they will be spending about 5% less, and when it comes to parts for machinery, it will be less than 1%, less in 2012 compared to 2011. I don't know about you, but I haven't seen or heard anything to indicate that 2012 will be anything but a good year for agriculture. Let's keep it rolling. That's it for this edition of Farm Equipment Editor's Blog. We'll talk to you next time.